Hey. <laughs> Welcome to Restoration Renegades, another episode, and we are here today with some amazing people. First of all, I'll introduce myself as the host. <laughs> okay, we're starting <laughs> <laughs> sure. just, just, just roll with it. Just keep it going. Okay. There you go. <coughs> Welcome to another episode of Restoration Renegades. I'm your host, Jeremy West, along with our two Restoration Renegade experts, Nick and Josh Hobbs from Rest Dowers hey, Restoration. Now, don't read it backwards. Restoration Dowers. That's an amazing company. <laughs> it's Dowers Restoration, guys. And of course, our awesome other host, his name is Jason Ward. That's right. That's enough. All right, today we're talking about what is flood insurance. That's an important thing because what is flood insurance? Yeah, this is a common question that we get. What is flood insurance? And I think for the most part, people are going to think, well, that's just, you know, that type of insurance that when I get a flood in my house, that's what, I, what we call it, flood insurance. And right. so there is a, um, a terminology, flood insurance, relates specifically to rising water. So normally where you're going to see flood insurance, it's a special insurance policy and it's only issued by a FEMA, by the government essentially. Um, insurance agencies are sort of the storefronts to sell this, this FEMA insurance um, for flood insurance. And what it's really designed for is that for folks who live in floodplains, um, um, the mortgage companies, whenever these folks buy these homes and floodplains, demand that they, you know, are going to make sure they're going to get this flood insurance. And so, flood insurance is not like, you know, covering your hot water heater or your, your, you know, anything internal or mechanical internal. Flood insurance relates specifically to rising water on the outside. So, like a river, you know, flooding, you know, rising and flooding homes. That's going to be FEMA-related flood insurance policy you're going to tap into, or you know, heavy rains or any kind of rising water event. Um, that's going to be your, your, your flood insurance. Question on that. Let's say you have a big hole in the roof, though, and it is raining, right? And it goes through the roof to your floor and rises. Is that considered? No, that wouldn't be flood insurance. That would be under your normal insurance. Where you're going to see it specifically to flood insurance, if it hits the roof and hits the ground and rises from the ground, comes inside, that you're talking flood insurance ah, there. So, so if it were um, a hole in the roof, that would be, uh, you know, the issue would be the, the, the roofing having a hole in it, and, it, and because of that, you had a flood in your home. So it's different. So, um, yeah, flood insurance. But one thing to, to note is your flood insurance policy is going to be a lot different than your normal water damage in terms of coverage and who's paying and how it's being paid to. So um, there's a lot. To, flood insurance is like a moving target. They're changing all the time in terms of what's covered, what's not. So for folks who have ever had a water damage in your home where normal insurance has taken care of it, it's not really the same when it, the flood insurance, you know, it kicks in in terms of coverage. I guess there's a few gray areas too in those places you've heard like with 50 year flood plain, 100 year flood plain. See, in my hometown, I think last summer there was this flood where people were, they've had houses there for 30 years, no incidents whatsoever and there was just this perfect storm, literally, that parked itself over this area and just dumped rain. And the water was like a flash flood. It took cars, washed them down. Some people died. They got drowned because they got trapped in the culverts. And it washed homes off the map. And they did, these people didn't even realize they were in a floodplain. So uh, I guess where you gotta get that information to know whether you're in a floodplain, right. for sure. That's a good question. Probably your realtor, you know, you, you, they're going to know whether or not, you know, all that information should be disclosed when purchasing a property. And so my first guess would be your realtor should know whether or not you're purchasing in a floodplain or not. Yeah, I guess that's why when you buy a house, you get that abstract done, you get a yes. stack of papers that's about <laughs> that big. Yeah. You fly through It's on it. nine, page 99. <laughs> or 900. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> house, house may wash away from rain. <laughs> What's that? So now, floodplains are actually designated by the government, though. Is that correct? Yeah. Normally, you're going to have some type of top, you know, graph or whatnot that will show you your floodplains. The mortgage company is going to know, want to do, do their due diligence and make sure that, you know, when they're when they're selling a home or you're buying a home, that you know, if if, if it's in a floodplain, they're going to want to make sure that you have these different, you know, types of insurance policies for these things as they do happen. And so, yeah. So normally. Um, you, for folks who live in floodplains, it's mandatory if you um, if you have a home that's that the mortgage company has ownership of that you're going to have a uh, you're going to have a flood insurance policy, and normally you don't see flood insurance policies on on homes that aren't in 
um, floodplains. And so there's a, a pretty good, at least in, in our what we see here, there's a pretty big distinction. But from time to time, someone might do that. They might actually get flood insurance as a, a supplement, perhaps, to what they have. Normally, we don't see it unless you're in a floodplain. Oh, oh truly, because they're pretty expensive. Yeah, yeah, they're exclusive for folks that are in floodplains that are at risk of having a, a, a flood of it. Not for like a hypochondriac or something like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a house hypochondriac. He, would probably, <laughs> he probably does have it. He lives on top of the hill. True story. No. Okay. Very good. All right, so it's important to know whether you need flood insurance or not. And most likely, if you live in a floodplain, you have to have that insurance. But to know every aspect of that policy, please reach out to your agent. But in the unfortunate incident of a flood simply go to restorationrenegades.com to find an expert such as these two guys from Dalworth Restoration and a Restoration Renegade can give you all the insight you need to know about your flood. Now to see other videos such as this one simply subscribe to our videos and smash that bell so that you can get all of our updates as well and of course smash the like button to let us know that you like this video so we can make more fun content like this. And until then, we'll see you on the next episode of Restoration Renegades.